very important program on star cross perturbation, the hidden mana. A program birthed out of uh, the Holy Father's uh, inspiration to one of us. A program that is set aside for lovers of knowledge, or seekers of knowledge, uh, the way we want to call it. This program is to enlighten and also to grant man knowledge. Knowledge, not just elementary knowledge, but knowledge, accurate knowledge of truth. This program is called the Hidden Manor because it unravels mysteries. It also brings to your knowledge the deity of the returned Christ, His Holiness, Olumba, Olumba, Obum, and the New Kingdom of God, Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, as prophesied by prophets of old. This program is also geared towards revealing the deity of God personified on earth to mankind and also to reveal all the mysteries as surrounding uh, the personality of God the Divine. This program is an initiative of the Father through his beloved Son, a true child of God who saw the need to educate and to enlighten and to bring knowledge to mankind in the person of no other person but His Grace, Archbishop Romel Eric Emenike. He is the current Bishop of Italy, an evangelist, a researcher, a man given natural wisdom from God Almighty. He is the regular guest on this program, The Hidden Man. Once again, I welcome you on board. And let me quickly welcome uh, His Grace uh, before we start up the, the program, because this is quite the first um, episode of this program. So we did some kind of introduction to this program. All right. Now, this program, The Hidden Manor, is a program that the Father in you created. The synopsis of this program, the idea, the Father in you uh, came up with it. Uh, first, let me first of all ask for our viewers out there, the program, The Hidden Manor, what is it aimed at? Thank you very much for that question. In the name of His Holiness, Amen. Through the divine power of His Holiness, Amen. Now and forevermore, Amen. The program, the Hidden Manor, is born out of God's inspiration. Over the years, we have felt it within my spirit that at some point in my life, I will embark on uh, such a program in order to sensitize uh, our brethren, brethren of the cross star first, because uh, there is a fundamental knowledge that will be beneficial to those who know the Father. Uh, first, it, it has to start with our people, our, our brethren, who really know that the Father is on earth and doing his work. Mm -hmm. Who really know that uh, the, you know, the Son has assumed his universal reign. Yeah. So it is easier to be assimilated mm -hmm. and understood by them who have that foundation. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, but uh, even at that, to others, they still go to church mm. and just understand the basic principle of godliness. Of godliness. Uh, when uh, a knowledge comes to bear that uh, takes it to another level, mm. of course they will understand. They will understand. Uh, so now is uh, the time for everything. Yeah, for yes, everything. and this is that time. All right, this is the appointed time. That is why we have the program, the Hidden Manor. The aim is simply to um, you know unravel some mysteries as has been given to him by uh, our Father himself to the whole world to see and to also know. It is a program, like I said, for seekers of knowledge, seekers of the truth about the deity, God, his personified or his personification and who he is and where he is. But before we continue on the topic of today, because there is a topic that we want to start up today with, why the name Hidden Manor? Why did you pick the name Hidden Manor? Because I am aware that the Father in you wrote a book titled The Hidden Manor. Mm. So what is the name so important? Well, uh, as you can see, mm. a lot of things are unknown. I 
bear witness to myself, to my family, mm -hmm. and to the entire world that Almighty God and His Holy God is Son. And that kingdom, we were promised, mm -hmm. have been established on earth. On earth. Yeah. And um, it behoves on some of us who are witnesses to this divine manifestation to go out there, proclaim it, and disseminate it to all our children as much as possible. Um, hidden manner. There has been a lot of things that has happened in the esoteric world and celestial world. All of them cumulatively establishes our claim in brotherhood. And of course, most of those things are unknown. When a man is born, a man in quote, I mean man or women, when you know, someone is born, the first school is your parents, they begin to direct you. You begin to do this, do this, do that, that until they, you begin to face blackboard and teachers who will also complain from there. Don't do this, do this. And that will continue until the time will come when you uh, you will be considered qualified, qualified for a particular profession. Then you will not go and render service in order to you know uh, earn income. Income. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, you know, for survival. Mm -hmm. So you see that all along, it's been people tailoring your life. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. How it should be. Should uh, the word, the word I mean is you know, the influence of the word. Well, so you know, in, in, two, yes, in our parents, mm -hmm. in our teachers, mm -hmm. in our employers, okay. all of it gears towards tailoring towards what the word okay. wants you to be. Okay. Now, the question is, is this, is that which the word wants you to know or be? Is it in conformity with uh, God's agenda for you? you? Uh, hey, that is what prompted the hidden manner. Yes. Oh, wow. What a wonderful explanation. The hidden manner is actually a revelation of who God is, yes. and not just God, even you. <laughs> who you are, your purpose, is the what you are supposed to do, the hidden manner. For truth seekers, just as we have said earlier, the program is for all of us. All right, now. Um, the program is all about revealing in, uh, in a way of giving knowledge to man, the deity of God on earth. So today I want you to you know, talk about the Holy Spirit personified in His Holiness, Olumba, Olumba, Olumba. Thank you very much. I will refer us first and foremost to pockets of Prophecies in the ancient and in the present. In the present means when Christ came and departed, there were there were prophecies by Nasradamus, prophecies by Madan Shilton of uh, Scotland. There were prophecies by uh, uh, I mean, okay, the one in Fatima, okay. where mm. I used to think in the early days of my being in Brotherhood, I used to think those were Brotherhood propaganda. Okay. That, uh, but it was. From brotherhood, you heard it. I heard it first. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was until I stumbled onto a program, mm -hmm. a program called uh, what was okay, the Return of God. Return of God, the Return of God. is by History Channel. Mm -hmm. The presenters, the presenters, mm -hmm. uh, David Childress, uh, David uh, Wilcox, okay. uh, Corey. You know, mm -hmm. these are presenters who talked about. That incident of uh, uh, Fatima, Fatima. Fatima yeah, where the three nuns appeared and gave a letter to the Pope, which have been hidden and uh, uh, the, the content concealed. Mm -hmm. So, um, I can see that most of these things, brother members, you know, say, mm -hmm. most of these things would go announcing. Uh, have been foretold, okay. known, and the people have made themselves agents of darkness and have vowed to remain perpetually in opposition against it, thereby militating against the glory of God. Glory of God. Uh, so that, that, that is, that Are is what... Are they doing this knowingly or unknowingly? Huh? Are they doing this knowingly or unknowingly? Good question. Very good question. They are just as a pyramid. 
Mm. That is the layer of authorities that governs the earth. Okay. And all of it, like I said in the other episode of you know the life uh, mm. uh, coverage, uh, the pagan world mm. thrives on deception, okay. counterfeit, uh, manipulation, okay. falsehood. Also, yes. Now I will unravel these things one after the other. Falsehood is they will always disallow you from knowing what ordinarily you should have known as God, as God that you are, because you are God. Okay. Uh, God say, uh, I'm not just going to say you are gods. Yeah, all gods. Uh, so as God, there are things that mandatory. Mm. Uh, it's, it's your right to know them, to know them without any ritual. Any blood ritual donated to any deity. Mm. Those are the things like establishment of one's ancient identity okay. is your entitlement. Mm. This is in scripture. Okay. Uh, when you hear resurrection, mm. resurrection, and uh, he's saying Israel will regroup yeah, in the in the, you know in their land. Okay. In their land, they will regroup in their land. Mm. You see, any person who that see that key that unlocks the knowledge of reincarnation. Anybody that has not attained that knowledge, okay. you will live in darkness you know, throughout your lifetime. Wow. Yes. <laughs> you know why? Everything revolves you know, on reincarnation. Everything revolves on reincarnation. Yes. Like when he told the Jews, He said, a time shall come when they will regroup in their land. Mm. That is what is causing this problem now all over the world, where Freemason and the Pentecostal churches are coming together mm. to help God in fulfilling prof you know, prophecy. They said it over, as soon as the father was born, when they said that uh, my manipulation. First, they packed some Europeans, some people, mm. go and dump in, uh, in uh, you know, uh, Palestine. Say that professor fulfilled Israel has come back to their land. Mm. Again, the one they are doing now that is going to cause a lot of problem mm. is they've been planning on how to go and rebuild the Solomon's temple. Okay. That is what the Trump faction mm. is fighting for. Uh, Biden's faction mm. is fighting for. Uh, you know, uh, 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 entrenchment of uh, homosexualism okay. and uh, all of this uh, immoral act that uh, Illuminati is trying to have uh, the full story. Yes, uh, all antichrist, the, the good. So I'm not an American fan, I will never be, because uh, all their products and activity are anti God. All the reason they put that, that is why I admonish people who always want to go after American influence. They are influenced by America, they want America, America, America. You know, they should have everything because that consciousness, that role model they're choosing for themselves, mm. being America, will take them to a point of no return. Uh, that is what it does to man. Okay. Uh, it's a uh, materialistic influence, you know, uh, that is uh, powered by light of paganism. Okay. Uh, mm. That light you see, you know, illuminating the world mm. in, in the uh, image of America. Uh, it's satanic light. The more you pursue it, the more you, attain, you strive to attain uh, the highest uh, level, it takes you deep into darkness. Into darkness. Yes. So all of these things are uh, what the Father knows that a man should have known them ordinarily as you are, as you are born. You are, you know, if not that, the world have orchestrated a way that have been you know, manipulating you. Left, when they say left, you go right. You go just right to the good age and you go like that, you don't know anything about God. And even you don't That's even know yourself. Serious. You don't even know yourself. Mm. If you are to go to a church, it is the one your parents want you to go. Mm. And um, in course of time, when you now grow up, like uh, some people, their parents were orthodox. Mm. Orthodox church member, you know, like Catholic or 
Anglican and a lot of, a lot of those churches. Mm -hmm. uh, that's their background. And um, as they grow up, maybe they see the Ephesians in Pentecostal church. Mm -hmm. Being that uh, the influence of the world will always make you to think fake, okay. do fake. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So when they see the Ephesians, the the packaging. The packaging. <laughs> the packaging. <laughs> the right word. The packaging of a particular church. They want to go to where it belongs, where it is happening. Mm. Uh -huh. So that is how you. Where some things are allowed. Uh, my head is allowed. Mm. So all of those has made God appear to be Satan. And the Satan looking to the people, like people in the darkness, mm. like God. Uh, so <laughs> that is what um, uh, you know, inspired uh, us to think. Uh, about um, putting in place this platform okay. so that uh, we can contribute mm. uh, you know, our gift mm. in the journey, our collective journey towards uh, perfection. perfection. Mm. Because you must know, you know, God's principle, mm. not from man's perspective, not from how man tells you he is. Mm. He must find a way, mm. an unexpected way, mm. to get his team, you know, uh, made yeah. known, made yeah. known. So that is what he's doing in this platform now. Mm. He wants to get himself made known and his ways. Mm. Yeah. There are many things. Our Father, who knows it all, the universe himself, mm. who knows uh, one million years ahead of time and knows today and knows future. Mm. If you can agree with me, it is not his position to sit and face camera and be telling you all of, all of these things that you're going to be hearing here. That's true. Uh, so That's true. it is somebody's mandate. Mm. Uh, he prepared somebody mm. and give him those keys okay. without him learning from anybody. Mm. Without him be if his life being tailored or pushed around mm. by other parents mm. or teacher or mentor mm. or boss. Mm. Uh, such the people are here now. He has brought them and they liberated with their knowledge by himself. Mm not anybody and uh, he was so jealous about it that uh, he made it so impossible absolutely impossible that uh, they sit in anybody's classroom to be taught by any man that is that is when it is absolutely the cause glory that's what we are doing here wow so from what you're saying you will agree uh, or will you agree, will you confirm that the knowledge the father will pass through you here to give mm. is uh, a divine knowledge absolutely divine now let me tell you why you cannot afford it Everything that you're going to be turning out using this platform. Mm. Why nobody can afford it? I challenge the astrologers, let them bring their knowledge. Let the medical doctors bring their knowledge. Mm. Let the uh, scientists of mm. different mm. engineering, let them come with their knowledge. Mm -hmm. We are going to unravel all of them into all centered at the Father. To be centered at the Father. Uh, that's talking about the Holy Spirit personified yes. in uh, Olumba, Olumba. I want you to describe as a part of our topic uh, this, uh, for this episode, uh, the personality, because you have said, some of the things you have said shows that, uh, oh, that's what our father says anyway, because most times he preaches it and tells us that a friend with the world is an enemy uh, uh, with God. So when you are involved with the things of the world, of course, you are very far from yeah, at variance, at variance with God. But on this program, we want to tell the world who Olumba, the name, Olumba, Olumba, Ubu, and who he is. Okay. We know he is the Holy Spirit person. Mm. Can you please tell us the Holy Spirit personified in Olumba, Olumba, Ubu? Olumba, Olumba, Ubu is a name abbreviated O O O O O. Like I told you in our previous uh, episode. Mm. Everything you see in the world prevailing emanated from heaven. Okay. Where, of course, you know Satan was with God and learned all of those mysteries. He understands the structures are sustainable in heaven. Okay. And then when you when he when he was cast down, he started putting them in place mm -hmm. here and they radiate God's energy which enables him tribe, enables his kingdom tribe. Geometry, every geometry has intelligence 
every geometry has intelligence. The form of a man is a secret geometry. The form of a man. The form of a man, the structure, the physical structure of a man is a, is a secret geometry. geometry. That is why God said he created man in his image and after his likeness. likeness. The way you are mm. is how God is. Mm. That you see yourself married wife and raising children mm. is the structure of God. It's just that what occasioned the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and the fact that he was to live only 33 years mm -hmm. and he knows it. If I, I, I as I am, I am getting to, I am, I became 49 just last month. Mm -hmm. If I knew as at when I was 30 that I was not going to live beyond 30, mm -hmm. why bother myself getting a wife and raising children? Why are you leaving them? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, our Lord Jesus Christ came squarely for the mission. For the mission he came mm. to perform, okay. which is to spill his blood mm. and use it to repurchase and redeem his people and also a headache mm. to God and his people. Okay. Paganism. Okay. They are anti the light of God. It is an energy they cannot do without and then they self know it that they cannot do without the energy of God. Uh, that yet the fiercely despise and sympathizes it. So, All right. Uh, let's take a quick break. Remember, we're talking about the personality of uh, the Holy Spirit personified in um, Olumba, Olumba Obo. His Holiness Olumba, Olumba Obo. That's what we're talking about on this program, the first ever uh, maiden edition of um, the program, The Hidden Man. Remember, once again, my guest here, a regular guest <laughs> on the program, um, His Grace and Bishop Romeo Eric Emenike. We'll be right back on the program. Please don't go away. My name is Eric Iso Anderson. I'm Commissioner for Culture and Tourism Development, Cross River State. I encourage you to keep watching Star Cross TV. darling program the hidden man a program that is you know for lovers of knowledge those that seek the truth about um, God his existence his oppression and the kingdom of God on earth brotherhood of the cross and star uh, this program is for you before the short break uh, we were talking about the Holy Spirit personified in Olumba Olumba Obo just before the break you were giving us you know who this deity is Olumba Olumba Obo thank you and uh, welcome back. Thank you very much. Like I was talking about geometry. Yes. Geometry is secret because there are for every geometry there is intelligence back in it. Okay. If you Google to understand the numerology of O. Aside the understanding of the Egyptians and the other civilizations that had hitherto prevailed, such as the Greeks, the Romans, the Middle Persia, they were unanimous in the understanding of uh, spiritual connotation surrounding O. O, they say collectively, okay. all the knowledge mm. collectively understands O to be universal because it originates from itself and it wants itself thereby establishing itself as a perfect uh, number All right. yes that is what they know I mean from knowledge of mm -hmm. like I told you these are knowledge they got from God's archive okay. uh -huh. and that is why they need it to prevail in their different empires that have hitherto existed on earth uh -huh. They need all those allegories, mm. you know, to you know to manifest things they are desirous of, you know, bringing to bear. Yeah. So, O has no beginning, has no end. Uh -huh. That makes it excellent. Okay. So, and for a man 
to come and establish himself as who. Mm. That should have made the pagan practitioners, mm. if you say they are ignorant, that's why I'm of the opinion that many of them are not ignorant. Okay. Yes, because they know, they know this in yeah. Anthony, that oh, it's, it has no beginning, it has no end, and it's excellent. Now, if you Google it, the numerology of O, they will tell you it's Alpha and Omega, uh -huh. beginning and the end, mm. uh, uh, first and the last. Describe all those uh, qualities, qualities of, yes, of, of, of God, of, 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 of God, of uh, and as, as O, okay. yes. Wow. So, that had provided irrefutable evidence. evidence. That is his name. name. Yes, we've, de we've dealt with the genuineness of his name being oh. the name of God. Oh. Being the name of God. That is a division oh. of his name, Olumbo Olumbo Olumbo, which is that. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. And uh, it is also scriptural that God will come with a new name. Yes. yes, it has been prophetically predicted mm -hmm. by a lot of prophets. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, in the ancient time, which was written in the scripture. Mm -hmm. In our own time, we heard of Nasradomos, mm -hmm. who talked about mm -hmm. a man that we use Thursday mm -hmm. as his holiday. Mm -hmm. He will wear a short nigger, mm -hmm. white, okay. he will feed on fruit and encourage his, his people mm -hmm. to go by that. And uh, he said in that generation, but 50, 50, 45th president of America, his name will sound like trumpet. Wow. In that yeah. same prophecy. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's, that's why I am envisaging, and I have also prayed, the Father be witness witness that I have been busy this, all this while, mm -hmm. me and my family praying for America. From what I can see, I don't know about another person. Mm. Uh, their body language suggests that they would need to pray for America. For America. Uh, so you see, all these prophecies had happened, and the, the civilization of America is what has ninety percent contributed in making people, by consciousness wise, by inspirational wise, mm. by um, influence wise. Mankind is drifting far, very far away from God, from God and His consciousness. So, and they see them building empire, manufacturing a lot of things, which that amounts distra distraction, distraction, distraction of man. So, and uh, for God's glory, not to be uh, relegated to the background, mm -hmm. or even diminish or destroy completely. That which is providing the influence. That is driving man away from him. Mm. That's to go of the way. Wow. Mm. Oh, wow. It's a serious uh, divine knowledge yes. that, are, that are coming out. Yes. Olumbo Olumbo Gu is God okay. who was born in 1918. Okay. By 1918. Why 1918? Because our Lord Jesus Christ made a prediction proclaim that everything he has said concerning the coming of his father, his own return and establishment of his kingdom, mm. none will go unfulfilled before the generation pass away. Before this generation pass away? The generation he was talking. Okay. Uh, that generation that he came okay. and teaching people all of these things. He okay. said that generation, that generation will not pass, pass away. away. That generation ended in year 2000. It okay. ended in 1999. 1999. The new generation started in uh, this And that was why the father came the last Past century, the last century. The last part of the century. Yes, the last, the last, yes, the last part of the century. The father has to manifest to bring the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So, and you can see, when that prophecy was to be fulfilled, that revelation was given to the Pope, and they conceived it. They conceived it. And um, the father cannot, because of man, is concealing prophecy mm -hmm. and not fulfill what he has told his people, okay. uh, because he knows that he is their last hope. All of them even. Pagan has manipulated and covered the entire roof that nobody is even thinking that uh, there is God anymore. Okay. A lot of people who were into what they were, went into thought that uh, the existence of God is fallacious. Okay. Uh -huh. So that is why he has to come to you know uh, first share that blood mm. full of that is full of energy okay. with which the souls of his people. Mm. Who has been which has been darkened 
by the pagan world will be cleansed, purified, yeah, yeah. because that is the consciousness, right? the level of purity they need in order to be with him when he comes. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. So you also say that after the death of Christ, the veil, the you know, the veil, you know, torn apart, does mm. it have a significance? Yeah, the, 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 the significance. <laughs> I love this question. In answering this question, I want people mm. to really understand it. So that you know you are right and you exercise yourself with the authority that that right has conferred on you so that you don't run out of people. Let me tell you people, the prior to the theory of the veil, mm. the priests were the only people permitted by the Hebrew tradition, tradition to go to the Holy of Holies and communicate with God. Oh. What the theory of the significance of the theory of that um, uh, veil, veil is to create unresisted accessibility to Him. Everybody, we left ourselves, most people left themselves so docile that uh, their spiritual life has been handed over to another person. Mm. That is why you see these pockets of people, you know, saying, uh, My pastor say, my, my deacon say, mm. my bishop say. No, you are supposed to go to God. And how do you go to Him? There's no other way to go to Him other than, you know, go on your knees mm. and talk to Him mm. directly. directly. And be patient mm. when you put anything before Him. Mm. Have faith that you have, by that communication, mm. you have handed your problem over to God and leave it, you know, at that. Mm. Then don't go seeking for who will tell you, bring uh, an ego to pepper, mm. bring lizard, mm. bring a cockroach, bring mm. this. Let's go and bath in the river. Let's go to waterside. Let's go to bush, let's go to forest, let's go to moon, let's go to star, let's go to aquarium, let's go to this. All in search of uh, power to surmount mm. poverty. Mm. If you continue to do that, trust me, whether you like it or not, you wallow in darkness and will never see God. Mm. Especially as it as obtains in this contemporary generation. Uh, would you also agree with me if I say the, 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 the tearing of the veil mm. in the temple also is a significance of uh, revelation as in clearing of man's eyes from the pagan yes. world yes. to see clearly yes. Good. and have knowledge Good. Of, of God. Now, even while he is here, Mm. We can see some of us who are with him are still wallowing in ignorance. Okay. That is why still people, for them, for the, they believe that for their problem to be solved, mm. they have to drive to Calabar to go and say it to the Father. Okay. Uh, that, uh, that is an error. If you are going to the Father, you go with gift mm. to go and see your Father. Mm. At times he wants us around. And thank him. At, at times he wants us around, not for anything. Mm. He wants us around. We are the same. Say, hey. Like when you and I went, to, we, we, we did everything that he was going to call you to say something among those big people. Mm. Uh -huh. So he wants to see us around. Okay. But not when he says, Father, I have a problem here, I have a problem there. Those are the things that he, he has supposed to tell his father in the closet. Mm. Then, alone. Then, uh, alone. Yeah. When you finish, then when you see him, you present gift. Even if you don't have a gift, mm. you just thank see him. him. Well, you, you thank him. Mm. Thanking him and he making pronouncement to activate that prayer. Mm. He made uh, to his father. Uh, to his father. Mm. Yes. Mm. Wow. Mm. So that is if you follow him this way, you have any problem. We are still on the personality of the, the, the of the Holy Spirit personified mm. in our Father is the next Olumba Olumba Ogo. And you made mention of uh, how uh, the powers of darkness are trying to make sure that man does not recognize God, does not see God, does not follow God trying all possible ways to make sure that uh, Antichrist is uh, fully ruling um, the earth. Uh, the personified return Christ, which you have demonstrated to be His Holiness Olumba, uh, Olumba Ubu, has His coming elevated His children so much so that uh, the whole world can now see him and know him for who he actually is as the sole spiritual head of the universe. I was talking about pyramid mm. and, the, and its different layers. Okay. There are people at the pinnacle of it who had attained the enabling a certain degree to unravel whatever that is uh, happening. 
within the environment. Those category of persons, I have described who they are, the politicians, mm. the big church leaders, the church leaders, mm. these the ones uh, struggling at the backyard, those ones don't know what's happening. Mm. Those ones are poor crap, those are the people they know. Mm. Uh, but you see, going to the pagan world is something many people would think is as easy as, easy as ABCD. No, it is when you, you 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 get yourself involved in it, you know that uh, this bitter, bitter cola okay. is not as sweet by taste as it sounds when you are chewing it. Uh, it can go in, but you know to come out of it. Mm. One, it is um, attractive mm. and uh, addictive. Okay. Mm, the addictive in the sense that while uh, believers are busy praying, fasting, you know, modifying their flesh to get food from God. Mm -hmm. The theirs is uh, matches and full approach. Okay. Uh, just do it, you know, you get results. Okay. Uh, so that's why it's, it's additive. Okay. Uh, but the consequences is what you don't know until you get into it. Okay. Yes, and uh, that is why I told you they thrive by deception, making you to accept things that uh, ordinarily. Mm. You, you know, you consider frightening, mm. you won't accept it, but you manipulate it to accept it. Mm. Uh, that uh, talking about making one to accept, uh, personally, I, I, I think it's uh, ironical for the whole world to believe that Christ came in flesh, and this generation believes that God can never be man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is um, a veil of satanism, mm. a veil of paganism. Covering uh, their spiritual face, okay. uh, their spiritual face, mm. but it is removed. You know, you can see truth, you can see light. Okay. Uh, that is why the Father established baptism. Okay. When one is baptized, significantly, mm. that earth in you, that earth in you, is washed down. Okay. Celestial being, His holiness, mm. will come upon you, okay. and uh, over time, it's not an instantaneous thing. Okay. I won't agree with anybody that uh, there is somebody that can attain, you know, instantaneous uh, perfection. Okay. There is no such thing. Mm. Over time, the Spirit, having established a new covenant with Him, mm. that uh, the old one should go, and old one goes. But you, maybe some of us, because of our, blind, our spiritual blindness, we don't see. Because when, by that immersion into the water and the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, mm. as you are coming out, you are coming out uh, empty, so to say empty. Okay. Then the Divine One will gravitate into, into you. Mm. Uh, then over time, will now take time to make you begin to have a rethink mm. in the things you used to believe. Okay. It's an in inward thing. Okay. Yeah, inward thing. Then they say you will be orchestrating a situation where you'll be hearing from people who are a bit above you in the consciousness. Okay. Who will, uh, because somebody must tell you what you need to know. Uh -huh. So that is how it grows. Okay. Uh, so the other people, a lot of them are that level. Mm. You know, those great men, men of God, mm. they some of them are in business, some of us are in politics. Mm. And so those ones have you know uh, chosen their path. Uh, they've chosen their path. All they can do is, uh, because they know the, the, the father mm -hmm. through a esoteric way and they cannot be proud of him. Okay. Uh, some of them who have the spirit of God, who are truly true of God, mm -hmm. but went the wrong way, okay. can come do some appreciation, receive bread, bread and all that, but they come out, come down the way you and I have come down, walk barefooted, wear so tan, mm -hmm. go on evangelism and do this. You know, that one is uh, they won't come down to that. They won't come down to that. There is something happening in the spirit. Which the Father by inspiration made me to understand what is what in the spirit. You see, when, you, if, if, when someone dies, uh, you are taken before him. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the scale which he paraded during the removal of uh, the, 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 the seven seals, the seven that scale, the work of that scale is mm -hmm. all your works mm -hmm. this time. When it there. This time, not before. Mm -hmm. Not before, because. 
from when he died and when he made that pronouncement, it is finished. Okay. All our ancient sins, mm. all what your mother had previous, mm. has been has not away. Mm. Now, when the people, when Pentecostal church people say, Christ say, when they want to fight against reincarnation, mm. Christ say, it, it is appointed for man to die once after that judgment. That statement is futuristic. It, it was not applicable that time when it was said. It is a futuristic statement. You know, it is a statement providing for a future event. Now, let me tell you what he meant. You couldn't have condemned or judged anybody when the throne of judgment has not been cast down. The trend of judgment, which is the trend of ancient of days, mm. was cast down in the 20th century. Okay. Mm? So whatever anybody did beyond 20th century, have been forgiven. Have been, you know, you know, uh, forgiven. Wow. You are, you know, worked out. Okay. Now, your judgment starts from when the throne has been cast down, and the destined son of judgment is seated on the it. Yes. Who is the destined son of judgment? His holiness, Numa Yes. Now. Having assumed that his father throne of judgment, okay. all those people who will not be available to contribute in his glory and the services of his father's kingdom mm. have naturally separated themselves from him. Okay. Who will also not receive his people? Who will also not receive his people? They have separated from him. Now the day they die. The okay. angel of uh, dark mm. will present him before the end of this, mm. and all those things they did will be brought and put on the scales. Oh, okay. And the scale has what condemns the soul is when you are put on that scale, mm. and the scale weigh does not weigh to the proportion that enables its uh, reconstruction mechanism. To, to clean you up, purify you, then really meaning that uh, the ancient covenant that you have with the beast, who is still waiting for you to come back so that he will, he, he, you know, he, you know, retrace you and begin to use you again to be evil mm. in the world. Mm. When the prince of peace and king of kings is seated on the throne, mm. walking towards the slugging evil and entrenching peace. Yes, so those who will not conform with him, with this emblem that his father has set up, mm. where it is seen and regarded by him as the new act of salvation. salvation. If you are not found there and you die in the world, mm. then the scale will not find you worthy. Okay. Mm. Then the, uh, those who will find worthy, mm. the blood that was shed 2,000 years ago have been magnified into a pool of blood mm. in the spiritual world. So, when that, your light body is presented before him and the beast is still being darkened, mm. and uh, for, your, for your work, mm. for the purpose of the work you have done mm. in this in contemporary earth. generation, mm. not before, okay. for the work you have done now, now. Uh, by appreciating him, by, because it boils down to appreciating he who died for you. Okay. Uh, acknowledging and agreeing, say, mm. yes, he did well. Mm. And that's why the father reduced it. You can imagine, say, be remorseful. Mm. Uh -huh. How can you show remorsefulness? It is okay. Is it the man who left me? Okay, I'm blowing yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> so now those who will not do that, mm. meaning that they are putting themselves ahead of him, above him, uh, uh, looking down on him. Okay. So when you die, you can benefit from that blood. Okay. Uh, because those who, those of us Just here. Just as the word said, those who will confess that Christ came in flesh and died uh, for their sins shall be saved. Uh, uh, so how, how are they being saved? When, they have, when his father amasses you mm. in that blood, mm. you are there for three days and three nights. Mm. As, you are, as you are brought up, that soul comes out, mm. it comes out with that light that I, I have always been talking about. Okay. Uh, that light will overwhelm it. Okay. And uh, at that point, it's worthy now to go back into the tunnel of incarnation. Alright, just because of our time, we need to quickly uh, conclude on our topic of discussion today.
okay i believe some other day we'll have time to talk about reincarnation and educate uh the children of god what reincarnation is but for today we're talking about the holy spirit personified we have agreed that the holy spirit is on earth as promised by christ uh and we have you have also stated that that holy spirit is personified in Olumba, Olumba, Olumba. what is his mission why is he on earth and what uh how can one identify him when one says holy spirit is on earth it may to some people out there it may sound uh, unbelievable that the universal spirit that, that uh, covers the face of the universe is uh, one man somewhere okay. uh, but one thing that is uh, certain which we heard from our Lord Jesus Christ okay. is that three bears witness on earth okay. water spirit and blood the end product of the coming together of spirit mm. water and blood mm. is man if Christ says the Holy Spirit will come and teach man thereby bringing man to the accurate knowledge of the truth what he say unequivocally is physical, physical manifestation of the Holy Spirit, yes, a form of man. If you refer back to the mythology of all the empires that have hitherto prevailed here on earth, you find out that they all worship men as God. So, and this, like I said earlier on, this way I walk devil coming from God. What is obtainable here on earth in representation of God is water, spirit, and blood. When these three things come together, man is the end product. And that is the representation of God. And if God wishes to achieve any assignment for himself that will tantamount is attaining the next level in his program towards perfecting the universe. And if that sort of assignment has to do with man, he will not come with any other form other than the form of a man. So the Establishment of God's kingdom will inevitably require the physical personification of the Holy Spirit, right? physical manifestation. We are in trying to be in obedience with His natural laws and principles. He will not avoid the process of incarnation. And for the purposes of judgment, because all of these laws are trying out there for man to obey, okay. eh? even though they came from prophets, that God permitted it. Because that is the way, because of the influence of paganism, mm -hmm. you know, that is the way uh, the society can be, you know, uh, be under control. Under control. Yes. Because those are not his laws. I, I will go to those subjects. Those are not his laws. I will tell you what. Anyway, I've told you part of what made him approve that law. It's just like Moses went to his ogre. Ogre, this is what I think that we have to do to keep this under control. He approves. Mm -hmm. uh, knowing that the time will come when you bring a more perfect law. Not just bringing law, he will bring law and uh, back it up with the devil's spirit for that law to try. What I'm trying to say is this. If you bring law where pagan demons are still occupying people's soul, that law is still end up in futility. That's true. Yes. What the least human being will do is to go ahead and still commit it. Now, why his own law is perfect? Okay, he has said love one another. Even here, we all know that 
Y se compró la U. Bulos. Guardador. We are trying to. We are trying. Trying. We are trying to love one another. But that is not absolute. The reason why we appear to be trying is because he, he did not only bring it, he backed it up with the enabling spirit. The ability to do it. Yes. Now why we exactly. always pray for the ability. The ability, ability. exactly. Yeah. So, until such a time, when the celestial light mm. that has been concealed and prevented from being known by men, you know, when it illuminates and begins to dispense that energy that is made of you know, purity. That energy that is pure, that pure energy, when that energy begins to uh, uh, inspire us, when it takes dominion and begins to shine, not the one, not the kind of energy, the song, this particular song, disperses upon us. That one is hazardous to our health because it's made of good. And uh, that also goes, we want to use this platform to, to encourage our brothers and sisters. What causes cancer, breast cancer, mm. is radiation of good. Radiation of good. Radiation of good, yes. Which is the sun. The sun, yes. And of course, when you now bring the, the element very close to the body, by form of the necklace you wear and all those rings, mm. uh, those are the things that causes cancer. What a mystery. So, uh, I think uh, so, uh, th those of us that know how to go deep down into search, you've heard something unique today. Yes. I uh, would say it's, it is the energy. Yes, the radiation. The radiation of the fake energy which comes in the form of the gold and causes uh, uh, most breast cancer. Yes. Mm. So, so, all of this is like I, I, you know, I, I was saying before mm. all the gods. That had hitherto prevailed on earth, which were worshipped by people of different civilizations, they were all in form of men and kings. And kings, men and kings. Yes, so it is a deliberate manipulation that the pagan world mm. is making people see God as something that is limited in the sky. Mm. Is as um, simple as ABCD. Mm. It's a man. A man, nothing but a man. All the entire uh, creativity that gave back to what we can see now as mm. creation of the world and the universe happened in 7,000 years. Wow. Mm. Wow. Because when he evolved and uh, illuminated the earth, mm. he set darkness in his left hand during creation, mm. set light in his right hand. And they allocated 12 hours to them, each, each of them 12 hours to function. And um, based on his timing, he allowed his glory to remain in darkness. Based on his program and timing, he allowed, deliberately allowed his glory to remain with darkness. Why did he do that? Because of timing and his program, mm -hmm. knowing that darkness is perishable, okay. and uh, time was given to, for it to perish, he managed to share glory in that kingdom. Just because there is no time his existence can be covered by darkness, be, you know, the knowledge of his existence can completely diminish. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that is why he managed from creation to the year 2000. Um, now by year 2000, that is why you see two. Two is announcement of his second coming that he talked about. Then the OOO behind the two is the abbreviation of the name that has come to reign forever and ever. Wow. Uh, 2000, the year, the, the year two, or the, the number two signifying um, his second coming. Announcement of the his second coming. The announcement of his second coming. Um, by and the three O's there is for O, 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 O. That is why the coronation of the son, mm. who would judge, mm. would not have happened mm. before or after year 2000. It is 
to the law. Due to the demonstration of that uh, allegory of uh, announcing his name in man's calendar. Okay. And remember the Jews said, he told the Jews, uh, this generation will not pass away. When you hear a Jewish man mm. talk about generation, it is 2,000 years. 2000 that generation, that 2,000 years that he was referring to, that generation ended in 1999. 1999. By that year, 2000, he has to announce a new era. A new era. Okay. Announcing this new era is what we'll be talking again on our next episode. This time around, we'll be talking about the manifestation of God on earth. Okay, I will be elaborately speaking on that. We had discussed that on the program Morning Star Breakfast Show on Star Cross Television on a live format. But this time around, we want to give it a broad discussion. Today, we've been talking about the personality of uh, the Holy Spirit personified, and you've heard it all that he, he, uh, Christ was promising that he will come back again in flesh and blood, as uh, uh, the, the Godhead himself said, Let us make man in our own image and likeness. I guess you have really enjoyed um, this episode today. You know, for seekers of knowledge, you have heard on this program that God is on earth, personified in His Holiness Ulumba Ulumba So many things have been said today, different aspects of who He is, why He is the Holy Spirit, why He is on earth, establishing His kingdom, He said, for His kingdom to come on earth. If we believe, that the kingdom of God has to be on earth, then there should be a king. There can never be a kingdom without a king. So who then is this king? The king has to be the king of kings and the lord of lords. I guess you'll really enjoy the program. Remember this program comes your way every Thursday and a repeat broadcast on Saturday. Coming your way once every week. So for now, let me thank uh, my guests for being here uh, on the program. Sometimes you might be seeing him alone. Just giving out the word of God. Remember, this program is for those who seek knowledge, who want knowledge, who aspire to have the knowledge of God. So sometimes it's like a Bible class where the Holy Spirit will be teaching us on this platform every Thursday at the repeat broadcast on Saturday. My name is Good News Samuel Peter. Remember next week we'll be talking about the manifestation of God in the form of the Solonese of Lumba Lumba. The world celebrates December. It's December, actually, the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. You'll be finding that and more on our next episode. But for now, let me say goodbye. Thank you very much for watching us and make sure you get back to us and we'd like to answer your questions on this program. See you again next week. <laughs>